Hello and welcome back to Lionel Messi vs Cristiano Ronaldo round 2 Taking a look at the restart, the rebirth, the rising of the Phoenix and the Flames Of these players starting again basically at 16 years old And we're in episode 5 now I think Which is another 5 years on to 2037 And 35 years old for Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo Jr So let's have a look, are they actually still playing at this point we'll find out now so we'll jump into Messi first of all Messi Jr he's actually a coach so he's already retired so where do we end last episode it was 2032 so let's have a look at his I mean he ended up with 100 and 100 caps flat 55 goals probably nowhere near what Messi did he's not a highly rated coach he hmm okay so once he left Africa Madrid, which we knew, 32. He was at PSG for a few years, and he actually stayed there. So, this was the first season afterwards. He scored 25 goals in 20 games, 8 assists, and 1 player in a match. 13 goals in 23 with 5 assists. In the following season, I mean, hitting 20s regularly, 25, 20, 12. With a very good average rating. Before we had a bit of a dip here, 35, 36. Hang on, it's. Okay, I think I've done it again. Yeah, it looks like I've done it again. So the, the save has overskipped another file save, which is absolutely annoying. So we've gone to 42 when it should be 37. So we've gone to 2042, 20, which is like 40 years old. Very, very annoying. So we had a bit of a dip here at 36, which is what, 34 years old roughly. Seven goals in 23 games, 10 assists. Yeah, um, and then uh, 19, he's back to normal, 19 goals in 26 games with eight assists. Three player matches and 7.35. Um, I mean, as he wound his career down, he got 28 games, six, 18 goals, 9 assists, 3 player matches and a 7.76. And then he got an 18 game, 16 split. So, a very good season overall, despite not playing many games for it, really. Uh, and his final season wasn't too bad, actually. 11 assists, 14 goals in 27 games. So, if we look at his career, he's got 580 games, 402 goals. I mean, if we take a look at the real Lionel Messi, assuming he's still in the game. He is. So, he's retired out of the game now. He's, yeah, no, he was all along, wasn't he? No, no, he wasn't. He was a coach. He was a head of youth development. Uh, he has now... Yeah, he's not there anymore. <laughs> he's not doing that. So, how did he do... It's not he retained his history, is it? Uh, did it say... Okay, 465 and 641. So we can't see the assists and that sort of stuff, but 465 and 641. Played less games, less goals, but he probably got a better conversion rating. You know, he's not many game, he's not many goals off, but he's played a lot less games, I think. So yeah, not a bad turnaround for him. So we see what he's done, yeah. Let me know if you think is Lionel Messi Jr. better than Lionel Messi. I'm gonna have to say probably overall his overall career quite possibly possibly but I mean Lionel Messi's done it in a very good Barcelona team outstanding player but a very good Barcelona team but he was also hitting you know 30s 40s did he at 50 at one point you know individual seasons for Lionel Messi real one have been so much better but let's see how you know Ronaldo Jr compares A to, to Messi but also to his predecessor I guess so he's now a coach so he's staying in the game, he's a coach, he's a pretty good coach, he, he could do with some more bits on the mental side, but his coaching attributes as, as themselves are pretty good. I don't think he's had a job, no. So we left at 32, here, oh he did actually, okay, we, we've had a transfer, so he then played 17 game, uh, 29 games, 17 goals and 4 assists, before then getting 27 goals in 33, absolutely insane. Uh, he got then his final season at Manchester City, 16 goals in 25 games, 7.91 average. His contract ran out for whatever reason. I don't know what age that is here. Uh, I think that's 35. Can't be right, is it? 30, 34 maybe. So he played a good few more years, I think. Uh, he got a free transfer to PSG, and he, he still smashed it. 18 goals in 22 games, 10 assists, 7.93. Uh, he got 
26 goals in 27 games, 8 assists and 7.61. He then got a 27 game, 16 season. Bounced back up, it wasn't the decline of him. 23 goals in 28, 25 goals in 29, and 18 goals in 27 before he did decide to finally call it a day. Uh, can we see his? So he got 200, what's that? Six caps, 194 goals for Portugal. I mean, yeah, what, what can you even say at this stage, you know? Um, so if we go and have a look at competitions, yeah, we're not going to look at awards too much. We'll have a look at those as an overall kind of thing, I guess. So where do we get to? 32. So he just won the, uh, the FA Cup, then won the Community Shield, won the Premier League, won the Premier League, won the Community Shield. It's all wins and no runners up now. Super Cup winners, World Club Club Championships, Carabao Cup, FA Cup winners, Champions League runners up, won the Euros with Port uh, Portugal. He won the Confederations Cup with Portugal. So, very decorated career. Can we see overall trophies? It shows it on Lionel Messi when he's retired. Uh, it doesn't show it on here. So, if we look at his career stats, he got 490, 676, 490. Let's have a look at the real Ronaldo. So, he got the same amount of caps ish, a lot less goals. 126 in for 203 minutes. Still not bad, is it? And in his career, it's not going to show it. He got all. Oh, let's do some calculator maths here because I am far too tired to be doing any kind of maths right now. He got 311, add 88, add 84, add 3. 486 goals in uh, 292, 196, add 2, add 25. 680 games was it 486 and 680 I think that's what he said and we're looking at same sort of amount of goals and very similar amount of appearances uh, sorry similar amount of appearances and goals so he's very much more on par with his predecessor and I would say in this I didn't give my opinion my opinion is Messi is the better player of, of the two I think Ronaldo's work, Ronaldo's ability has come from his just sheer hard work and just training and practice. Messi was just God given, and that is just something crazy among itself. And he, I think he does has less selfish traits, does more for the team, brings other players in. I think that's just purely why I, I just enjoyed watching that Barcelona team when they're in their pomp. So that's very much my my kind of thinking. Um, so I think, but I think in this this one. Ronaldo Jr. has it by far. Miles, he's won everything there is multiple, multiple, multiple times. He's done stuff on international level um, a lot more than Messi has here. And yeah, I think that kind of sums that up. So what we'll do now, we'll try and have a look at um, some comparisons sort of to see how they got on. So if we go to uh, up here, we go to World. And if we go to Transfers. How do you do all time again? So leading transfers, we have got. So the most expensive transfer is 143 million. Again, it's a regen. Tottenham to Real Madrid. Gennady Larionov, Ukrainian. He's now 37. He's back at Dynamo. Well, I say back. He actually started at Shakhtar, the team I was on um, FM18. So he came in about 21, 22. Yeah, he's not bad. I would say the players we were looking at were far and away better than him but he went to Tottenham for 21 million to Real Madrid for 143 to Man City for 103 to Bournemouth for 2.5 and then back to back to Ukraine for 150k for Dynamo Kiev and he's kind of winding down now he's not doing too well veteran attacking okay so we're looking at his stats he's attacking the field and not a strike so that would explain that but yeah I think it's pretty good Mauro Riccardi in 2020 went to Real Madrid and Inter Milan for 134 2030, Juan Cruz Duran with AS Monaco to Man City. He's now a director of football, okay. Uh, Guedes went to Valen Liverpool Valencia. Grant went from Liverpool to Real Madrid, so he'd already left what Dortmund. Uh, Akinchi went from PSG to Liverpool 118. Where are any of ours fitting in? 
Kareka. I always love these solo Brazil names. He's retired as well. 35 years old. Does he start in the game then? He must do. No, 23 when he comes in. He's already retired. Okay. Uh, let's see. Any of ours? Messi Jr. Flick over to PSG. 111. So he's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12th on the list. And Ronaldo isn't in there at all. Larionov is on there again. <laughs> he's in there twice. So, leading transfers. It's Messi winning that one. 111. But... I, I, I don't think PSG got their value for money. They got more out of Ronaldo when he was older than they got out of Messi, I think, in this in this save. So if we go and have a look at... We'll have a look at European champ. We'll have a look at World Cups, actually. While we're here. And we'll have a look at history, see if... Just a bit of an overview to see if any of our guys um, sort of did anything. So... Uh, 22, Ukraine won it, Spain and France, so nothing there, France, Germany and England, France, Turkey and Portugal finished third, Holland, England and Germany, Brazil, Colombia and Ukraine, yes, and a third place finish was the best in the World Cup. Uh, in this situation we've got the, we'll have a look at the European Championships, European Football Championships, we know he won it with Portugal once, at least. So 2020, Spain, Italy. Uh, Portugal won it in 24, beating Sweden. And then they won it again in 36, beating France. And then they run us up in 2040, losing to... Oh, that's Poland. We're looking at not Portugal. So yeah, they won it twice, and he, he, so he wins that twice. That's not bad going for him. And he runs up in 20, 2004 as well. That's the original Ronaldo, of course. Uh, and if we look at the Copa America... So holders are Argentina now, but I don't think he was probably playing in that. In fact, Ronaldo probably wasn't playing that last Portugal one. He may have been, actually. Uh, so we've got 2019 Brazil, Colombia, Uruguay. So a third place in 2024, a third place in 2028. Winners in 32, runners up in 36. We might be seeing a lack of Messi in this situation. And 40 winners, yeah. So possibly. So that's that. What else did we want to look at? So award winners, this is what we want to look at. So football of the year. If we go back, so it, Ronaldo Messi. I mean, this was all Ronaldo Messi, I think. No award given. Did it did it disappear for a while? I'm not too sure. Uh, Neymar had a couple, and then 2021, Ronaldo Jr. comes along. Messi Jr. finishes third with Mohamed Salah in the middle. Uh, Neymar won it that season, and Messi third again. Ronaldo not winning the reckoning. Okay. 2023 Ronaldo, Messi, and Salah again. Uh, let's see, then Salah finally went at 24, Neymar and Fakir. So neither of our guys in that one. Uh, Messi, Salah and Ronaldo Jr. Before Golovin, Mbappe and Messi. So Mbappe isn't really even featured. Uh, Salah, Paulinho. Paulinho? That's not the important. No, it's not. No, it's a different Paulinho. He's a left winger. It's not the one I was thinking of playing with Barca and uh, Tottenham. Neymar third, Ronaldo Jr, Messi Jr and Mbappe. I think this will be a similar pattern here. Oh yeah, well it's Erdogan third rather than Mbappe. Uh, Messi Jr third. Messi, I think that's his first win. No it's not, he's had, he's had what he won before. Uh, no sign of Ronaldo here. Ronaldo third, no sign of Messi. I mean, there's some good players obviously in the world. Messi second, no sign of Ronaldo. Ronaldo winning it, no sign of Messi. It's, it's crazy how they go from being winning it to then not even in it. Messi wins it through on the bounce, no sign of Ronaldo. No sign of Ronaldo. No sign of Ronaldo. And I think we're getting to the stage now we're going to be seeing no sign of, of our guys. I think that's the case. I think they've retired by this point. This they have. So that's the football of the year. If we go to as 21 football of the year, we won't look on it too much. We'll just look at the winners rather than the runners up. Ronaldo, 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 Messi, Messi. I mean, they're not they're not on 21 after that stage. So uh, 
and a golden ball. So it was Ronaldo, Messi, Ronaldo, Messi, the real ones. Uh, Neymar grabbing it in 2019, the first real season uh, in this game, the non-real season rather. Uh, Ronaldo, Salah breaks up what would then be a domination. Messi, Messi actually winning it most of the time. Ronaldo getting it a couple of times, back to Messi. Pieta de Boer for Messi and Ronaldo again. And then yeah, we see a, a bit of a change of the guard again. Uh, World Player of the Year. Similar kind of pattern. Uh, Neymar stepping in. In fact, is that the same competition? It seems to be. That's the same as Golden Ball, is it? It seems to be. And then Team of the Year, we don't need to look at that too much. I think that covers that. We looked at the Champions League. Uh, we looked at the national team. We looked at their appearances, comparisons, transfers. I think that covers everything we pretty much need to look at in terms of their careers. So yeah, I would say a lot of the awards went to Messi, uh, Player of the Year and stuff. But I, my one would be, if I had a choice of having the two in this save and playing with one of them, it would be Cristiano Ronaldo, hands down. He, I think, offered a lot more throughout the save. Don't get me wrong, Messi still did phenomenally well. It's just the kind of standards he was up against, I think, were just a little bit higher. Uh, so if you enjoyed this uh, episode and indeed this series, uh, please do drop a like below. Uh, please drop a, new, a sub to the channel if you're new here. And any comments, again, as usual, um, absolutely fantastic. Let me know what you thought of the series. Let me know if you'd like to see something similar, maybe two different players being compared, You know, whether it's from uh, the past or something. I've got a similar save, not similar, uh, another save sort of in the same sort of format over sort of five, seven episodes, uh, just looking at a big group of sort of past historical players and seeing how they get on. I'm trying to figure out how to work that into doing the videos without it taking absolutely forever because it's 20 of them or 24 of them um so yeah it can be a bit crazy but that's that's in the pipeline i know a few people doing something similar but with one-off players it seems this is a bulky one that i've been planning for about six weeks maybe more just haven't had the time to film it with doing cole shorten and the arsenal save and stuff and just real life <laughs> so yeah uh until next time uh for well it'll be back to the cole shorten episodes i think they'll be overlapping with this series as well being brought out at some point as well um, I'll see you later. Take care.